Okay, welcome back to the Picky Swede. I think I have figured out the Stanley 30mm brass padlock from the Quickset series that I bought on the local grocery store for like 45 crowns or something. So that's like, I don't know, four dollars or something. And it's for indoor use on suitcase lockers and your toolbox and it says 20 years guarantee and brass with a nice fist bump on it so this this look seems pretty solid I guess good quality nice feel to the, the combo discs and really shiny shackle good overall finish on this one I have to say that but I think I have found some weaknesses and for the first one is that this shackle is not hardened at all I mean but uh, doesn't say so either so I guess it's not false advertising but if you want to lock up some expensive stuff in your locker or your toolbox I wouldn't use this also it would be practical to attack it with the twist attack you take the lock with a set of big big pliers and you twist it like this and the shackle will give probably because <coughs> this drilled hole here for the shackle in the lock body it's really shallow so there's not much holding this guy in place besides these five millimeters or so that they've drilled but that's not why we're here we are gonna try to decode it and you saw my last video the Sparrows Ultra Decoder is too fat to do anything with this lock so can't use that one sad I have to use my tiny tiny strip of aluminium from basically free beer can so this was much cheaper and I can use it on better quality locks than I can with the Sparrows decoder. So, a new, new code for this. Right now it's zero, zero, 0000. We will have to put the shackle like this. Push it all the way down. And cover up the lock. Scramble the discs. Make sure they are in place up with the shackle, back to lock position, scramble and you have a lock that's locked. So, zero, zero, zero won't open again. So, we will try to decode this guy and we'll try taking some notes here so that we can show you the progress. What I've noticed is that these discs go counterclockwise when counting up and the Abus ones go clockwise when counting up. So I have to subtract when I found my decoding teller and basically you have the code wheel like this and you have an inner diameter here and you have a small small nudge or a groove it's hard to tell uh, but that is always directly above a number and not in between like on the Abus lock so when you found your number you subtract two from it and you should be able to decode it let's try 
Let's see if we can find anything. And it doesn't doesn't matter where you decode as long as you fit your tool somewhere. Just know it is the number. We'll then put the number in this red line and subtract two. And here we go. We can immediately feel something on number six here. Just going to make the full rotation here to make sure that I don't miss anything. to say number five actually so top one should be number five and this guy in the middle here has a really good tolerance the only place I can fit my tool is right here hopefully that is enough for me to decode I got something here on number six. And the final final guy down here. Oh. I think it's number seven. Yep, definitely a seven. So all we need to do now, decoding is put in five, six, seven, and then we just subtract the number two. So translates to three, four, five. Fingers crossed. Ah, open. So that's how you decode this Stanley lock. Gotta say, better tolerance than the Avus 165 and the previous 185, I think it's called, that I have in my previous videos. So, pretty good for decoding protection, lesser good for cutting grinding, filing and twisting. But all in all, solid good quality lock in this size for the price that I gave. So that's how you decode the Stanley 30mm code padlock. For more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below and I will answer you. This is the Picky Swede. Until next time, like and subscribe.